The annals of history are filled with tales of legendary leaders and their exploits. One such figure is Alexander the Great, whose remarkable military campaigns extended the boundaries of his empire, from Greece to Egypt and as far east as India. It is within these eastern bounds, in the rugged terrains of the Himalayas, that our story of Alexander and the mythical creature known as the Yeti unfolds. Alexander III of Macedon, popularly known as Alexander the Great, was an ancient Greek king renowned for his military prowess and strategic acumen. His reign, which lasted from 336 BC to his untimely death in 323 BC, saw the greatest expansion of the Macedonian Empire, stretching from Greece to Egypt and as far as northwest India. Alexander's relentless ambition, coupled with his ability to inspire and lead his troops, cemented his place in history as one of the world's greatest military leaders. In 326 BC, Alexander's campaign reached the Indian subcontinent, marking the easternmost expansion of his empire. This venture into India was not only a military expedition, but also a cultural and intellectual exploration. The exotic lands filled with diverse people and creatures intrigued Alexander and his men, sparking their curiosity and fueling their determination to conquer and discover more. One of Alexander's most intriguing encounters in India involved the mythical creature known as the Yeti. The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, is a legendary being that has captured the imaginations of people across the globe. Found in the majestic Himalayas, this mysterious creature has become an enduring icon in folklore and popular culture. Depicted as a massive humanoid creature covered in shaggy fur with powerful limbs and glowing red eyes, the Yeti is believed to roam the remote and treacherous mountain ranges of Nepal, Tibet, Bhutan, and surrounding areas. Its presence is often associated with high altitudes and freezing temperatures where few dare to venture. Legends of encounters with the Yeti have been passed down through generations among local communities living in these rugged terrains. Tales of its immense strength and elusiveness have sparked fascination for centuries. While some believe it to be a mythical creature dwelling solely within folklore, others claim to have seen or heard its distinctive calls echoing through icy valleys. Alexander demanded upon his conquest to be shown a Yeti, a creature whose legend had preceded his arrival. To Alexander's disappointment, the locals claimed it wasn't possible. Because the beast couldn't survive below a certain altitude, Alexander set out on a mission to find a Yeti. After hearing tales of this enigmatic ape-like creature that supposedly lives in the Himalayas, he believed that this would be a significant zoological discovery and a testament to his conquests. Despite his best efforts, including ordering his men to comb the northern Indian mountains, the elusive Yeti remained beyond his grasp, marking one of the few failures in his otherwise illustrious career. An intriguing account by Nearchus, a close associate of Alexander, provides a fascinating insight into Alexander's expedition and potential encounters with the Yeti. In his work, Indiki, Nearchus narrates how his men fought a battle with what could have been Yetis during their retreat from India. The natives they encountered were described as excessively hairy and used claw-like nails as tools, intriguing parallels to the Yeti myth. The following is a summary of this story from Nearchus's Indic 24. They set sail with a favorable wind, and after traveling about 30 miles, anchored near a river called Tamaris. At the river's mouth, there was a lagoon where native people lived in cramped cabins. Seeing the ships sailing up, about 600 natives lined the shore, ready to repel any landing attempts. They carried thick six-foot spears hardened by fire instead of iron tips. Nirka saw them standing firm, so he ordered the ships to stay out of spear range and use missiles. The natives' spears were good for close combat, but useless against volleys. Nirkus took the lightest, most agile troops who swam well and ordered them to swim ashore when ready. They were to wait in groups of three before attacking, then charge yelling. The swimmers dove in, formed up orderly, charged in phalanx formation yelling, joined by the ships. Arrows rained down and the surprised natives retreated. Some died, some captured, some escaped inland. The prisoners were hairy all over, with claw-like nails used like tools to tear fish and wood since they had no iron. They wore animal skins and thick fish skins for clothes. And that ended the account of the possible Yeti battle. The tale of Alexander and the Yeti serves as a metaphor for the human spirit of exploration and discovery. Alexander's desire to capture a Yeti highlights his curiosity and his relentless pursuit of knowledge, attributes that significantly contributed to his success as a military leader. The account also provides an intriguing perspective on cross-cultural exchanges in ancient times. The Yeti, a creature deeply rooted in Himalayan folklore, became a focal point of interest for the Greek conquerors. This tale indicates the diffusion of local legends and myths across different cultures and regions, 
Long after the time of Alexander the Great and his men, people still look for the Yeti. Adventurers have launched numerous expeditions over the years, looking for proof of this enigmatic being's existence. These quests range from scientific explorations aimed at locating physical proof, such as footprints or DNA samples, to more speculative endeavors, attempting to capture images or even encounter this elusive figure lurking amidst snow-covered peaks. Despite countless accounts from both locals and intrepid individuals who claim close encounters with the Yeti, concrete scientific evidence remains scarce. Skeptics argue that many sightings can be attributed to misidentifications of common wildlife species, native to the region or mere exaggerations. In conclusion, the story of Alexander the Great's quest for the Yeti underscores the breadth of his ambitions, not only to conquer new territories, but also to uncover and understand the mysteries they held. While he might not have succeeded in capturing a Yeti, Alexander's attempts highlight his thirst for knowledge and discovery. His story continues to inspire and captivate, reminding us of the boundless curiosity and ambition that propels humanity forward. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to Connect Paranormal. This will allow us to make more videos,